You ever wonder where the ACP and 380 ACP comes from? It actually stands for Automatic Colt Pistol. The 380 was developed at the turn of the 20th century by John Moses Browning. Of course it was. It was released to the public in 1908 along with a Colt 1908 safety hammerless. Now some people say the 380 doesn't have stopping power. Technically, stopping power is kind of a myth. What reality shows, it's all about shot placement. If you hit somebody in the heart, spine, or brain, it's an instant off. A lot of people are like, oh, the 45, the stopping power, that's why I carry the four. Wrong. In World War II, when the Marines were fighting the Japanese, there's records of Japanese going on bonsai runs and taking multiple rounds to the chest from a 30 yacht six. And even those big 30 yacht six rounds weren't enough to knock them down on their back. We have a really long record of 380s taking people out of the picture. Now today's test, we're gonna test the penetration power of the 380 round. But we're not gonna go full metal jacket. The rounds we're gonna be using is the Hornady FTX. Now they're trucking along about a thousand feet per second, which is pretty standard for a self-defense round. All right, let's get into the testing. Okay, just like with the last round test, we're saying how pop cans the 380 round could get there. Now the 32, we are firing a full metal jacket and this is a hollow point, which will, of course, expand. Theoretically, it should stop fairly early compared to a full metal jacket round. Now, due to the awkward angle, I am probably going to have to sit on my gorgeous buttocks to get this shot. But we're going to shoot from about 10 feet away, which is a standard self-defense distance. Yeah, I got a little soaked. Let's see how many cans we went through. Okay, so it went through a total of four cans, which to be honest was about what I was expecting. I'm curious of how a full metal jacket round would do, but I don't have any with me. Okay, for this test, we have in the spout one of the Hornady FTX rounds and followed by a full metal jacket. I believe that's arms core. Now I'm thinking that this hollow point is not going to expand. So I'm curious to see if the hollow point is going to have the same or more penetration power than the full metal jacket. Let's find out. All right. Let us see, let us see. Board number one, hollow point still going, full metal jacket still going. Uh oh. And it looks like this is the full metal jacket. It might still be going. Hold on. All right, the hollow point definitely stopped. It looks like a port pressed this board out. So I think if I tear this away, we're gonna find, yep. There he is. Yeah, like I expected, it didn't expand. That went through about one and a half four by fours. All right, and the full metal jacket. Let's see if it stopped in this one or this one. Uh-oh, check this out. I didn't expect this. Our board's pushed out right here. So that full metal jacket went through two, almost three boards. Let's we'll see where our bullet's at here. There he is. Despite the fact that the hollow point didn't expand, it's still deformed. And compared to the full metal jacket, you see what we got there. So we got more penetration power out of this full metal jacket. Well, there you go, folks. There's the answer to that question. All right, let's move on to the next test. 
Okay, for this test, we have 13 half inch sheets of drywall. At the top, we're gonna to test the hollow point. At the bottom, we're gonna test full metal jacket. Full metal jacket. All right. Both through layer one, both through layer two, three, four, five, six, seven. Okay, seven layers. There is the hollow point. Again, it deformed, but it did not expand because it needs liquids. All right, eight layers, nine layers. Okay, hold on. <laughs> all right. <laughs> okay, so it went all through all 13 layers and it bounced <laughs> off of this 50 pound weight. So it kind of deformed it just a little bit. So here's the hollow point. We're stuck on what was that, the seventh layer? Do you remember back with the 10 millimeter video where we shot the ceramic plates? Well, that 10 millimeter was able to bust through four ceramic plates. I wonder what this 380 will do. Let's find out. Uh oh. It broke through three of the plates. The fourth one still stands. And look, there's parts of the bullet. There's the little plastic piece, and there are the lead chunks right there of the bullet. Now the bullet itself, who knows? But, wow. I didn't expect it to go through three plates. Did you? Especially being that the 10 millimeter stopped on four. Now we have a hunk of meat over here. It's about two and a half inches thick. We'll see if our FTX rounds makes it all the way through that hunk of meat. All right, let's try it. All right, it went all the way through, which I didn't think it was gonna have any trouble. Tore a big chunk of that wood out and then kept on going. Now we know bad guys aren't gonna expose their bare meats. Usually there's bone there's clothing stuff like that that gets in the way Let's see what happens if we put some bone in front of me all right i have here a really fresh jawbone so it's not been sitting in the field long so it's got all the marrow and all the stuff inside that it needs to keep it strong bam it looks like the bone took a big hit and there's chunks of bone in here i'm thinking that the round didn't make it all the way through. Now there's still lead chunks inside of this hunk of meat, but here's the round itself. There's a little plastic tip. You see that round mushroomed out. All the lead's gone. The lead's inside the meat. And I'm sure some of it flew off when it hit the bone. Now at this point, our 32 round blazed all the way through the bone and the meat. Let's say our bad guy here, Steve, has a denim jacket on. What kind of bad guys wear a denim jacket? Apparently you've never met Canadian Special Forces. Anyways, he's also got a cell phone in his pocket. So what happens if our 380 round hits denim, cell phone, bone, and then meat? All right, it went through the denim, it went through the phone, through the bone, and into the meat. Oh, hold on. It looks like it might have flown all the way out. Look, right here on the wood, there's a dent right there where the bullet hit. So that means the bullet's still in here. There it is, right there. Along with, oh, it's parts of the cell phone. There's a red piece. 
there's the bullet right there now this time unlike with the bone when it hit that cell phone it maintained its lead so the lead didn't come flying out separate like it did with the first round so we know that the bullet can pass through cell phone bone canadian body armor and the meat and still go in with enough force to put a big dent in this solid piece of wood i just wonder if that wood wasn't there what would happen oh I wasn't expecting that. Cell phone, toast. Went through the bone. You can see where it bored through right there. Made another hole in the meat. Went through. It went all the way through the soda. You can see the entrance hole here, the exit hole here. So it hit all that and kept going. I think it's safe to assume that even with clothing, things in your pocket, the 380 round could still be lethal. Now that was some awesome testing. And I think we found out that the 380 has plenty of penetrating power, despite it being hollow points. It went through cell phone, Canadian body armor. It went through bone and meat, and even all the way through a two liter. My point is, again, shot placement don't matter if it's a 22 or a 50 a and e if you hit somebody in the heart chest or spine it usually puts them down on the ground is it guaranteed no the human body is super super resilient i think if you are comfortable carrying a 380 any gun is better than no gun and that's a fact it's a, again it all comes down to personal choice if you feel like you can save your life with a 380 round and by all means, this is a free country. God bless America. I hope you guys like this video. Be sure to hit that subscribe button, that like button, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what is your favorite self-defense round. And maybe we'll get to test it in the future. I'll catch you guys in the next one. Stay safe and stay free, America. Full beard manly.